In question 10 of this exercise, the problem statement says, what rate, what rate of interest gives rupees 280 as interest on a sum or a principal amount of rupees 56,000 in two years. So this is the question on a principal amount of rupees 56,000, the interest earned in a time period of two years is rupees 280. And using this information, we have to find the rate of interest. Now I will show you two slightly different approaches of solving this problem. In the first approach, I will use the unitary method. So let's see how we can apply the unitary method to this problem. Okay, so we from the question, we, we are given that for two years, the interest amount on the given principle is rupees 280. So this is the interest amount for two years. So from this, we can write the interest amount for one year, correct? So what will be the interest amount for one year on the same principle? So this will be simply rupees 280, the amount, the interest for two years divided by two. So 280 divided by two is 140. So the interest amount for one years, one year will be rupees 140. So what this basically means that on rupees 56,000 as your principal amount, the interest per annum, so let's write this as interest amount per annum is rupees 140. And this means, now we apply the unitary method, this means that on rupees 100, if you take, what will be the interest, uh, uh, the interest amount on rupees 100 uh, in one year? So on rupees 100, the interest in one year or per annum will be, well, you just simply divide 140 by 56,000 and multiply that by 100. So this is how you can calculate the interest on rupees 100 in one year. So we have rupees 140 divided by rupees 56,000 into rupees 100. So this is how we can calculate the interest in one year. Okay, and now let's calculate this. So we cancel out two zeros from here and from here, and then one zero from the numerator and denominator. We have 14 by 56, and 14 by 56 in simplest form will be one by four. So the interest per annum will be rupees 1 by 4 or rupees uh, 0 0.25. And this means that because on, so what we have basically done here is we have found that on rupees 100, the interest in one year will be rupees 0 0.25. And this means that the rate of interest is simply, what will be the rate of interest? It will be simply 0 0.25. 0.25%. Okay, because on 100 rupees, the interest is uh, 0.25 rupees. So the rate of interest is 0.25% per annum. Okay, uh, actually, let, let's make sure that we write PA also because the rate of interest is 100% per annum. Okay, now for our second approach, we will set up an equation in the unknown, which is the rate of interest. Let's see how to do this. So, Let's start by assuming that the rate of interest is some variable. Let's take it to be R percent. So rate of interest is R percent. Now we know that interest is given by this formula P into R into T by 100. This is how we calculate simple interest. So if you plug in the values that we have, the interest is given as rupees 280, the principal amount P is given as rupees 56,000 into the, so actually let's not write the symbols here so that the equation is concise. 56,000 into the rate of interest is what we have to calculate. The time period is two years and then we divide this by 100. So using this equation, we can now find the uh, rate of interest. So let's simplify this equation. So we cancel out these two zeros and these two zeros here, and then this zero and this zero uh, from the LHS. Okay, so from here, we will get rate of interest is equal to 28 divided by, then we have this 56 and two, which will go into the denominator. So 56 
into 2 okay now 28 and 56 uh, this gives you 1 by 2 and 2 into 2 is 4 so the rate of interest will come out to be 1 by 4 so once again we arrive at the same um, answer that the rate of interest is 1 by 4 percent per annum which we can write as 0 0.25 percent per annum so once again we arrive at the same answer okay and this completes question number 10. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.